Hey guys, you know sometimes um, I need to get into my, if, if I'm on my laptop outside or out in the lounge room and I need to get into my uh, FreeBSD, onto my FreeBSD computer to do something, um, for most things I can use SSH, but there are a couple of desktop applications that, um, that don't have a command line interface. Um, and uh, so, so I was curious about setting up a VNC connection. I thought it would be really, really complicated to do, but it actually turns out it's really easy. Um, it's ridiculously easy. It's just a couple of packages that you need to install. Um, I thought I'd just show you how I did it real quick. Um, if you so to set up a server on the on the machine that you're going to connect to, that you're going to look at the desktop of, uh, you install this one here, X11VNC, and that uh, that packages on both OpenBSD and FreeBSD. Um, so just PKG install X11VNC or PKG add. Um, and then you just run it, you just run it and it runs a server. <coughs> um, what I basically do, I set the geometry, um, first of all, on the server, uh, cause otherwise when you connect to it with the client, um, depends on the size of your monitor, but it, it, it'll end up being way too big or way too small. Uh, so I set the geometry so it's a nice size when I do connect to it. And then all uh, that, that's it there. It's running now. It's, uh, it's waiting for a connection. And then uh, what you'll do is uh, on the client machine, you just uh, you just run a, a VNC client uh, and connect to that. And um, so on FreeBSD, um, the best one is Tiger VNC, or the best one I've used is Tiger VNC. If you're on OpenBSD, you're going to use I think it's SSVNC. Um, both do the same thing essentially. I I'm sure there are different. Um, there's Probably one is better than the other. I don't know. They both uh, they both work the same way for what I do. Um, but I'll show you what I'll what I do. I'll just I'll 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 do it backwards. I'll go into um, my OpenBSD machine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just run the server with the the right geometry. So now it's waiting for a connection, <coughs> almost. Okay, now it's waiting for a connection. And then on my client, which in this case is going to be this computer, the FreeBSD computer, um, I'm just going to run VNC Viewer, which is Tiger VNC, and the IP address of, of the, uh, the laptop that I'm connecting to. And I get, uh, whoops, I get permission denied because my, um, whoops, my uh, firewall doesn't have a rule for it yet. All right, so I'm connecting to it now. It's as you can see, it's established a connection. Come over here and uh, give it a second. Unfortunately, and this is unusually slow. <clears throat> um, I've had some some network lag. My my home network is. Um, I just bought a Wi-Fi extender. And I'm having some issues with it, but anyway, you can see there. It's uh, that's my desktop, and it's fully operational. I can I can I can use it as if I was on it. Um, the only thing that I've found difficult, um, and I don't I haven't found a way to get around this yet, is because I use uh, DWM, which uses the mod key, the Windows key, to open new programs, new terminals, and so on. Um, if I run that, it actually runs it on my client. Uh, instead of the server where it's supposed to run, that should have opened up a terminal here. I haven't found a way to fix that yet. I mean, I'm sure that if you press F8 on Tiger VNC, you can actually enable Control and Alt, <coughs> and um, and that will actually allow you to use those those keys. But there's no there's no Windows key here. It doesn't let you do that. So the only way I'd be able to get around that for uh, for this setup is to switch my mod key around so that I'm using Alt instead of the Windows key. Um, the 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 advantage of using um, of using I believe it's SSVNC, yeah SSVNC on OpenBSD. Um, actually, I haven't tried it on Tiger yet, but um, if you if you full screen it, um, like I use SS, SSVNC um, uh, full screen and the mod key works that way but if I run it in a window it doesn't work so I don't know how to get around that I'm sure there is a way um, if you're watching this and you know how to fix that if you know how to 
use the mod key without it being full screen, um, please tell me because that would be really helpful. So yeah, that's it. <clears throat> it's just three packages, X11 VNC and Tiger VNC if you're on FreeBSD or SS VNC if you're, if you're on OpenBSD. There doesn't seem to be a Tiger VNC port on OpenBSD, but they work the same way for what I'm doing. Um, I should have said this before, but um, you would have seen when I ran this, where is it? You see all these warnings you're running without a password. Um, I'm running this completely in, unsecured, um, but it's on a private network. So I would not do this on a public open connection. Um, you can, as you can see here, it actually gives you instructions on how to set up a, a VNC password. So that's one way um, you can, can also set up SSH, uh, SSH tunneling um, to make the connection secure. Um, I'm running this completely open, but I wouldn't recommend this if you're doing it on a public network. Um, this is just because I do it at home. So yeah, that's it. VNC is uh, it's pretty pretty easy and pretty convenient. Thanks, guys.